Hello, my name is Ingo Schieder from the Centre for Ecology and Hydrology. I'm today with Professor Andrew Johnson to talk about uh, research papers. Andrew, um, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and your area of research? Yes, so I've been um, researching the environment and chemicals in the environment in particular for 29 years now. Over that time I've published uh, 100, over 100 papers. These have been cited now over 4,000 times. And 10 of those papers have each received over 100 citations. Uh, so that gives me now an H index of 36, which in the field of environment is, is probably quite respectable. Uh -huh. Wow, that sounds quite impressive. That's a lot of papers and a lot of citations. Um, but I thought it was about journal impact factor more than about citations. So why is, is being cited important, Andrew? Well, I'm not such a follower of journal impact factors mm. to assess the performance of a scientist. I very much go by citations, and that's increasingly now the norm worldwide. And what we're talking about with citation is how frequently peop other people are citing your work. Here's a paper, one of mine, as it happens. <laughs> and if you look in the back of the paper, you'll yeah. see a whole range of people I've cited. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, the key thing is, why did I cite those people? What was it about their work yeah. that made me cite them? This is the way that we're judged now in science, and so it's very important that we get our papers highly cited. Okay, so what are then your top three tips about how to write a paper that gets cited again and again? So, um, thinking about what we need to achieve is, I'm imagining people, hopefully we're going to set up a course here, mm -hmm. I'm imagining people who uh, coming with their research, let's say it's great research and it's timely, mm -hmm. and the name of the game here is to make sure that that work is conveyed in the way that makes it most likely to be cited. Mm -hmm. In a way, it's about not dropping the ball. It's about getting the presentation right, right from the top, which is the title, all the way through to the conclusions. Mm -hmm. So if I was to give, if you like, a sort of top three tips to start with, the first one would be to think about your reader. What are their needs? Mm -hmm. In other words, it's not about telling them what you know, more about giving them what they need. Uh, then we need to think about or accept that now you have become a storyteller and you have to pick a single, ideally, main argument and maintain a narrative thread through a paper, not diverse, not spreading in different corners. And thirdly, it's about keeping it simple. Mm -hmm. Science is immensely complex mm. business. The questions are complex, the techniques we use are complex. The results often are hard to interpret. Your mm. job as a scientist in your paper is to reduce all of that complexity to something very simple that people can grasp. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let me just recap that. So first of all, know your readers, what their needs are. The second one is tell a story. And the third one is really to keep it simple. Yeah. That makes that's, a lot of sense to excellent. me. Yeah. So um, I know kind of you've, you've done um, lots of work, you obviously published lots. So. Um, are you planning to help other people kind of gain these skills? What, what are your plans? What are you going to do next? Yeah, so in the past I've run courses into how to write highly cited papers here at CEH. Mm -hmm. I've also done it abroad in China and in Japan for students over there. And um, I still think there's a, a need and there will in fact be an increasing need for every generation to get that paper writing skills yeah as good as they can. And so what I'd like to offer is a series of workshops. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, there will be in uh, winter 2017 and 2018, where we're going to offer a training course to try and teach people those skills. Mm -hmm. And what exactly is it that people are going to learn in these workshops? So um, we're going to come together as a group and we're going to set up a series of interactive exercises mm -hmm. 
where you'll be expected to work either as groups or as individuals. And we're going to take you through a number of steps, starting with the title. Seems obvious, but you've got to get that right. Mm -hmm. And we'll actually look at examples of very bad titles, <laughs> which led their papers astray. Mm. We'll look at the abstract, which I see is either, if you like, your shop window, that's selling the goods that you have inside mm -hmm. the paper, or you could see it as a sort of tasty hors d'oeuvre. And if you're not giving people that reassurance in the abstract, then they will, might lose interest in reading the rest of your paper. So that's title and abstract. We'll look again at maintaining this main argument and narrative thread, the storytelling mm -hmm. I mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, the simplicity required in writing, as one uh, American author once wrote, easy reading is damn hard writing. <laughs> so it's not easy, mm -hmm. but we'll look at that and we'll also try to bring in a nice crisp conclusions to consider how best to use figures and perhaps also how you might advertise your work and your efforts more broadly on things like social media. Mm -hmm. So you're really going to cover everything right from the beginning to the end of the paper and then once the paper's out how to promote it, social media or other aspects. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And what about if somebody's writing a paper at the moment? Can they bring their own paper and sort of seek to improve it there and then? Yeah, I'd be delighted if okay. they did. Mm -hmm. um, I think it would help concentrate their mind. We could, they could start looking through it about some of the issues we've raised and they may like to use it in some of our exercises. Okay, good. And can you just confirm, clarify, who exactly is this workshop for? Who can come and who can attend? Yeah, so writing papers and writing good, highly cited papers is probably one of the most essential skills you'll ever need as a scientist. Yeah. It's a craft, it's something that you continuously need to improve. So I'd like to think that anyone who's interested in developing this skill of reaching out mm -hmm. and getting your papers well recognized would come to our courses. But probably it would be a greatest appeal to early career scientists who are willing to build their career by getting it right at the start, the training of what it is mm -hmm. it takes to get your mm -hmm. papers out and noticed. So that would be right from PhD students, people who've never written a paper in their life. Mm -hmm. Catch them early. Yeah. So let's say I'm interested. I'd like to come to the workshop. What do I need to do? Yes. So what we're going to do is if you look at the CEH training website, we have details of what we're going to do on our websites. We want you to register your interest and then we'll get back to you with times and locations. Um, this is to be run in, as I say, 2017 winter, 2018, mm -hmm. and it's £150 for the course. OK, great. Andrew, thank you very much for your time. Um, I really appreciate that. And I'm looking forward to the first workshop. Yes, me too. I look forward okay. <laughs> to, to doing this. Oh, thanks.